As the last year group of the century of the school's founding, we have always seen ourselves as a special group. A testament of that is today. Within the boundaries of this school, we would come to embrace the spirit of what makes St. Augustine's College a special place. Indeed, many of us began adulthood here and started to find our way to a better future from here. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So it, my time here influenced me a lot. I became an adult here and I learned a lot about leadership. The teachers here were very kind in giving me a lot of minor, minor leadership rules. So when it was time for me to step up to be a dining hall prefect, I was quite ready and I also learned a lot about it. So for me, St. Augustine's is a very, it's a special place for me. My time here was, um, gave me the opportunity to do certain things. Um, a lot more rights. I mean, clearly instill some discipline in terms of the use of my time. Because of course, prep time, you make sure you're meant to be there. Um, dining hall and those basic things taught us nothing but time management. Once you walk through the four walls of the castings, there are two things that you're likely to go out with. The first priority is your academics. So that's first of all, that's what brings you in. But when you come in, you find out that Beyond academics, there's also the, that element of perseverance. The lessons and process that they take you through should be able to keep you up and running, to be able to do other things, which eventually becomes meaningful. But I used to like sleeping. I don't play with my napping. You know, I still do that now. Yeah, so I'll hide and now. <laughs> and they'll call me all sorts of names, eh? <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. It hasn't really changed much. Hey, so all this is broken down or they are not occupied? They are occupied. I see. Has this class changed much? No, it's gotten worse. When we were here, it was much nicer, I think. Oh, yeah, I think so. It was much nicer. Our desk was much better than this. The free SHS, as I've said, it's been great. Like. I've met people here whose, whose background is almost very similar to us. They come from very difficult economic backgrounds, but Fear Sisters has opened it up. But it has also put a lot of stress on the infrastructure. So it looks like we have to quicken the pace of maintenance to catch up. Every year we have people coming in. It's helping the school in a very good way because as an education institution, students need a very good environment to study. Old mates and of course people proud our time had given back and we have literally enjoyed from the good of their giving back to society so it was clearly um, natural that we definitely would also contribute on that path to ensure that I um, mean the students who are now coming will also feel part of the Augustinian and of course Absunian brand. I think first of all there's blessing in giving back and the rest is basically looking at the impact. Do you just handpick one person and try to lift that person or you look at a school like St. Augustine's with the plethora of issues or challenges that they face, you ask yourself that okay, um, what is it that I can do that will, the benefit will transcend to many. You need to look at life as though somebody else did something that's making your life comfortable today so they give forward for me whatever it is that we give here i know is going to open so many doors it's going to make someone going to give them the confidence it's going to make their life a little bit comfortable as they walk through the school it's just uh, sending the ladder back so somebody else can can climb it and i think that is is the best feeling so Honorables and Absunians, this is the legacy project 
that Absu 99 is handing over today to the school. This journey began last year when we started this project and we've renovated it, we've changed all the doors, windows, we've done painting, we've provided projectors for every classroom. We have a smart classroom where we've provided a smart board. We also have a coding hub which will be outfitted by Haptel with uh, modern uh, all-in-one laptops and we've also made the building sustainable with solar power. In addition, we've sunk a borehole to provide water for this building and the school as well. In a nutshell, that is what we've done. Wow, wow, wow. The contractor was supposed to use uh, four and a half months to complete the project. Uh, on the project committee, we had uh, architect uh, Thomas Ntiamuamafu of APSU 99. We had Desmond Addison, a surveyor from APSU 99. He was the QS. And we had Franklin Asafubwachi. He was also the project coordinator. And these three were amazing in getting us to this point. <laughs> Is this, this is the first smart classroom in Ghana for any second grade school. I'm oh, sorry, senior high school. Yeah. 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 But we are not a school, we are a college. Yeah. We are a college. APSU 99 has set a standard when it comes to hosting of speech day in St. Augustine's College. Not just St. Augustine's College, but any other second cycle institution. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a lot more to do today, the highest point of which will be the presentation of awards. Nature teaches us that everything begins small. The biggest hurdle is often the initial leap, that going from zero to one. Many give up at the starting stage because it's always difficult to start. To learn a new skill, to start a new business, to save the money for projects, all these endeavors require that, that initial push, that moment of breaking through inertia. It's easy to get overwhelmed by the seemingly insurmountable task ahead of you. The initial difficulty is a trick of nature. The current youth are more quick in looking at things that are in the flashy mode, quick money. But things don't work that way. You need to work hard, as hard as anything, in anything that you touch, or anything that you set your eyes that you want to do. It's just about hard work. You gotta keep pushing. You push till there's nothing more to push. And I think the motto of St. Augustine defines it.